Good evening. History has been made in Parliament House today with same-sex marriage legalised just moments ago. A four-day marathon debate in the House of Representatives finally came to a vote with the legislation sailing through. The Parliament finally says we do. Order. Order. What a day. What a day for love, for equality, for respect. A time to embrace a time to love, and now at last, a time for marriage equality. A series of amendments on protecting religious freedoms all defeated. But respects the anxieties, the concerns and the beliefs of the five million people who voted no. To an overflowing public gallery, a time of personal revelations. So I acknowledge that, that uh, I'm currently separated, so that's on the record. And celebration. There are three words this year that have touched the hearts and minds of all Australians. And Mr Speaker, love is love. Good evening. We begin with historic breaking news from Canberra tonight. Only moments ago, the House of Representatives passed the Same-Sex Marriage Act. Let's go live now to Nine's political editor, Chris Ullman, <laughs> at Parliament House. Chris, as I said, a historic day. Take us through what's happened. Well, it certainly is, Tony. After a full day's debate on amendments, the House of Representatives passed the same-sex marriage bill just a few minutes ago. It went through with less than five votes against it. So those numbers will be recorded in the Hansard and it went through to the raucous cheers of the gallery. This bill has been agreed to. The definition of marriage will be changed. Australia's Parliament said yes, 22 days after Australia's people said yes. It's been a marathon to get to this day. I've been delighted to hear 125 second reading speeches, totalling 21 hours and 31.5 minutes. But it wasn't over. We have a problem. The opponents of same-sex marriage conceded defeat. I accept that as a society we have moved on from the attitudes of previous decades. But they launched a rearguard action to protect a raft of rights. Freedom of conscience, freedom of speech, freedom of religion and parental choice. With religious organisations worried teaching traditional marriage might see their charitable status and public funding threatened. They are simply seeking to, the status quo, Mr Speaker. It was a fight between coalition MPs. The bill before the House does not have one word or one clause that restricts the religious freedoms of Australians in relation to their views on marriage. Some traditionalists admitted they failed to meet their own ideals. Half of them fail, I acknowledge that. I obviously I acknowledge that, that, that uh, I'm currently separated, so that's on the record. And that they were fighting against the majority. We've seen cheers from the gallery, cheering for the erosion of religious liberty. Cheering for the erosion of religious liberty. You know, uh, and, and there they go, cheering again. But as every amendment went down... The result of the division is eyes 59, nose 82. The question is therefore negative. The inevitable drew closer. What a day for love, for equality, for respect. Australia has done it. 